Yesterday, in his presentation in the National Assembly, the Honorable Mr. Raphael Trotman, speaking for the opposition, accused the government of presenting the budget of the constitutional agencies of the state in an irregular manner and implied that the budgetary estimates of those constitutional agencies were presented in an unlawful manner and he also contended that the opposition did not get an opportunity to scrutinize those estimates. I feel that it is important that the government responds to those contentions. First of all, I wish to reject those contentions as absolute falsehood. Mr. Raphael Trotman seemed to have forgotten that in 2015, by Act Number 4 of 2015, the APNU AFC administration amended the Fiscal Management and Accountability Act that which adjusted the way that constitutional agencies' budgets are to be presented in the National Assembly. By that amendment, these agencies' budgets are to be presented separate and apart from the national budget estimates. Also, they are to be submitted by the accounting officers of these constitutional agencies directly to the clerk of the National Assembly and a copy sent to the Minister of Finance. We complied with that process in accordance with the letter and spirit of the amendment promulgated by the APNU AFC in 2015. Also, by that very amendment, these budgetary allocations are directly to be charged from the consolidated fund and they are to be disbursed in a lump sum manner to those agencies. Therefore, excluding any possibility of parliamentary interrogation and parliamentary scrutiny. And that is exactly what we did. So even if they were in the assembly, as you know, they, were, they absented themselves from the assembly, they walked out. But even if they were present, they could not have subjected those uh, budgetary estimates to any form of interrogation or scrutiny, because that is what the amendment says. Significantly also, when they were in the opposition, rather, when they were in the government, what they did to those agencies were, was that when those agencies submitted their budgets to the clerk, on the floor of the assembly, the Minister of Finance came and slashed those budgets on the floor of the assembly. And that is what created the basis for us in the opposition to interrogate the Minister of Finance in relation to the basis for his reduction of those budgetary allocations which came straight from the constitutional agencies. In this instance, our Minister of Finance did not interfere at all with any of the submissions made by the constitutional agencies. So there was no need for any parliamentary intervention from the floor by members of the National Assembly in relation to those budgetary allocations or budgetary um, estimates that were presented. Our Minister of Finance did not reduce, alter, 
or adjust any of the estimates presented to the clerk of the National Assembly by the accounting officers of these constitutional agencies. So there were no basis for a National Assembly input in the estimates of those agencies. So Mr. Raphael Trotman is completely wrong in his contention that there was some irregular process or that there was some illegality that affected the presentation and approval of the budgetary estimates of those constitutional agencies. Thank you very much.